this video I am going to show you how to remove the ear foam and how to replace the ear pad by removing four key screws on the headset without damaging the headset by removing the screws. You must be reminded that the, by removing these screws you may void your warranty. I am not really reliable for any damage that you may cause to your headset but it is a very easy and effective way to place the foam of your ear cup onto your headset and make sure it's nice and tight. So, with further ado, you can do one of two options for removing the foam. One way is by simply lifting the foam off the headset. By doing so, you feel like you might be um, stretching the original foam, but I assure you, it should not rip. But if it does, it's your own fault. The other way is by removing the screws while the foam is still in place. And if you do that, it's much easier to take off the foam. The screws are located, if I can show you, there's a screw here. This is the right ear cup, mind you. There is a screw here. Here. And finally, the last screw, which is located. There it is. If you can see that. There. So we're going to show you how to remove just the ear pads, just their typical way. Start by the lip on the right side. Simply take your finger, you pull, and it comes right off. As you can see, it exposes the four main screws. These screws can easily be removed and no damage will be done to your headset. Now the shielding can easily be removed off and you can replace your foam. Now to place on the foam onto the shielding unit, simply use the upper lip, it's the curved lip right here, slide it on like so, hold your thumb in place. In my theory, to get this thing on correctly, give yourself a lot of extra room. So have it barely on, like so. Hold your thumb in place, and now start to feed it around. Once you start getting our parts on, keep them nice and secure. Use your fingers, your nails. As you can see, it's a little difficult at first. I'm 
You might feel like you have to stretch it a little bit. Make sure it's nice and secure. Let's see, it slowly goes on and mine's already slightly stretched so it will actually go on quite easily. Yours might be a little bit dif more difficult. But as you can see, the foam, this is the new foam, mind you. And now it's on. Now here's the tricky part that might, many people might feel that they might be uh, ruining the, uh, the foam itself by squishing it over to the left or right. As you can see, it's memory foam, so it will hold its form if you pull over. Easiest thing to do though is pull over one side. So find a screw that you uh, that seems like it's quite easy to get access to. Say like for this one, for example, I pull it all the way up. This is the top. Take your screw, place it in the hole, like so. And now adjust it so the screw fits right into the hole. This is quite difficult, if I do say so myself. Oh, no wonder. This is the, uh, you gotta make sure you remember this, like this is the lip part. So I was trying to put it on the wrong spot, that's why I wasn't going in correctly in the first place. So now that's fitted correctly, I can actually get to the screw. There we go. So now that I got the screw started, it's going to stay in place a little bit easier and simply just screw it back on. Once you get one screw in, it tends to usually keep its, um, its hold. So now it's, it's locked on and you simply just place in all the other screws into their designated holes. For example, this one just goes up there. Make sure that the uh, the foam is not stuck to the screw. That's what I personally um, prefer is that the screws are not connected to the foam in that kind of way. So like this one can be pulled over quite easily. Screw it in. Don't strip it, so as soon as you start feeling it start to be tight, it's good. No stripping. Nice and tight. Again, this could void your warranty, so you need to make sure you are very careful. Not to say that this is what you're supposed to be doing, but it is the most effective way to place this new foam onto your headset. And this headset sounds amazing. I will have to mention an ad. Okay, so there you go. You just saw how the foam was removed off the headset and how it was effectively placed back on. There you go. A lot of people might complain that the um, the foam feels pretty loose, but that's to give you or your ears a lot of breathing room, and uh, the foam makes for a good cushion. It's, it's it simply feels amazing, and uh, that's it. Enjoy and uh, have fun gaming.